everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bobby. Um, do me a huge favor while you're right here. Go ahead over here, hit this little icon right here, and it will subscribe you. Um, now, everybody who's not new here, you guys know me, you know what we do here on Saturdays. What do we do? It's story time Saturday. <laughs> so, you guys. Go ahead, get strapped in, go ahead and get you a little snack See, I got my little cup of coffee. Y'all know I mess with coffee all day long. It's like what? It's almost four in the afternoon. Coffee time. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yes, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to get this quick, easy, flawless skin, bronzy look and entertain y'all, okay? Okay, <laughs> so let's get into it. Hey everybody, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, welcome to my story time Saturday on Sunday. <laughs> okay, um, I just personally wasn't feeling it this week. So we're here for a funny story time, right? So um i'm going to do my makeup and i'm gonna do basically like a just like my natural like bronzy everyday kind of look um because i was talking to melissa the other day and she was saying how like her friend brandy loves my videos and she watches my videos hey brandy <laughs> um and she like likes the looks i do but they're not attainable or wearable for every day. I mean, that's not feasible for like normal people's jobs. And I get that. Like if you're a bartender, yeah, go all out, do the most. Or if you work at like a strip club or whatever, cause you know, like I'm friends with all kinds of people. Um, so, <laughs> so just in case I, 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 if you have a request, I help, I, I cater to people. Well, okay I help them out one story that I do have because it was in self-defense okay self defense is the you know the theme here okay <laughs> um, so basically one day um, my best friend my brother twin I was hanging out with him I, his name is Ray so um, I call him twin Ray or Kiwan like so if you hear me say twin Ray or Kiwan, I'm gonna just say twin, but um, so anyway, so me and twin were like hanging out all day. Um, and mind you, I was like 18. I, I had to have been like 18 at the time. So me and him were like hanging out like all day. I had the day off, he, um, wasn't doing anything that day he had actually just moved back from Dallas or something like that and um so I wanted to hang out I was helping him like settle into his apartment and he had brought back a, a boyfriend you know um and that was not unnatural I I'm always so I was always so nice to his boyfriends until they fucked him over and then I was like, fuck you. You know, <laughs> like how you do with your friends. You're like, oh, that's cool. They're so nice. And then whenever they fuck them over, you're like, mm-hmm. We don't like you anymore. Get away. <laughs> so basically, um, Twin moved back from Dallas with this dude he was with and, um, Let's call him George <laughs> because he, you know, I don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, so George was there and, or he, he wasn't there and we were gone for most of the day. And then George came back and he was um, in a mood, let's say. Um, so he was like Quinn and I wasn't really sure why because they were like talking in the other room because even though they were boyfriends like he still had his own room and he had his own room so they had a two bedroom apartment and a living room situation and everything 
So I'm hanging out with Twin all day. His boyfriend gets home, his boyfriend's on one, and then his boyfriend goes in his room. We're not worried about him, everything is fine. At, at this point, everything is fine. So, basically, uh, um, his twin's mom came over and twin's little brother came over. Um, and everybody is kicking it unpacking minding our own business you know and then i don't know if he's mad because we're all kiki in and ha ha in, in the other room and he's not part of it i don't know what um george's problem is but he started getting on one with twin and like twin Everybody was quiet, right, about it. And then he came into the same room as everybody. So him being on one with his boyfriend in seven room was one thing. And everybody was like, uh, what's going on? You know, and then he came into the same room we were. And he was trying to be on one with him in front of everybody. And then I was like, oh, baby, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't do that here. Okay. We don't do that here. So, um, like, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but if I actually love somebody, I low key ride hard for them. Okay. And like twin is my brother, right? Like I had known him like 10 plus years. That's my brother. Um, and so I wasn't fixing to let anybody just talk to him kind of crazy or whatever, but neither was his mama <laughs> and neither was his brother. So like all, all, like there's four people and then there's him. So I guess he already felt kind of defensive, but he felt like he needed to still stay and, and talk shit basically. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and then, uh, okay, so basically the story's going to move kind of fast after this. <laughs> um, decided he wanted to get on one with everybody I guess mostly because we started jumping in okay I'm not gonna lie we started jumping in but um like because we were like hey like because he was cussing and he was like belligerent like he had been in his room like drinking he came in there with a cup that had alcohol in it so we knew that like he was in his room drinking and like was on one with twin and then he like came in there and he was trying to still be on one with twin we were not having it right like we were like mm -mm, this nigga can't or excuse me this guy can't come up in here getting all crunked up at my fr at like my friend and think that that's gonna be okay like he needs to calm down like there's a, a solutions and ways or whatever and now i ain't a fighter but don't push me okay he like his mom spoke up and was like hey you ain't gonna come in here um starting mess basically and like think that that's gonna be okay like you're not gonna talk to my son like that you're not gonna blah 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 and i was like that's right that's right don't <laughs> Don't, don't let him talk to your son crazy in front of you and stuff so then he got on one with the mom and I was like oh no <laughs> oh no and now twins mom has been really good to me she's still really really nice to me she's like the sweetest like 
honestly, she's the, she's the best. Like she has helped me out a lot and like she was just, she's just been like really sweet to me the whole time I've known her. She was always super excited that we were at her house. Like when me and my sister would go and like come to her house and visit, she was like, oh, what y'all doing? Like, how are you? Like stuff like that. And even the last time I saw her, like she was still like really nice to me, even though it had been years since she had seen me, you know? Um, so I love that. <laughs> um, and uh, so I was like, oh, oh, hell no. And like, mind you, this is a woman that I've known since I was like 14. And um, I, you know, I was like, no, you're not going to fix this, fix him to talk to his mama like that. But also her sons were both like, oh, you ain't fixing to talk to my mama like that. <laughs> so, um, basically, y'all, I don't know that you ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I'm ready for this either. Okay. Um, basically, uh, like we all got into it. And then like, I don't know what exactly happened. Cause like there's a bed in the middle of the room. Uh, the brother was over here and then the mom was sitting on this side of the bed and um i was standing over here right behind twin so um like twin moves forward towards him since he gets on one with his mom and the brother is still behind the bed he's like no you ain't gonna get on one with my mom either but he's doing it from a distance and so Twin walks up to him like, hey, you ain't finna get on one with my mom. Like, <sighs> you guys. Okay, so he, he does that. So, it, like I said, it moves really, really quick. Okay, so listen. So, <laughs> basically, I'm about to describe a physical altercation. <laughs> um. So... Twin gets in his face. Dude, uh, George gets in his face. They're arguing. And then George pushes Twin. Twin, don't play those games. We don't push around this bitch. We hit. Okay? So, Twin hits him. And then they, they fall. Because he's like next to the mom. Like, the mom, mom's right here. And then they're fighting right here. But then they end up falling and dude falls on him. And after they fall and they come too close to mom, right? Little brother comes in. <laughs> and little brother is, um, I think, I think at the time he was like 16 or something like that. So they fall, little brother jumps in, and like everybody is fighting. Mom is like about that life. Okay, so mom was fixing to defend her son, and he had put down his cup of alcohol, his a little short glass cup that he had, had alcohol in it. Y'all tell me why mom just decided to smash it. Like she don't, she <laughs> on his head. Oh, uh, like she, mom don't play no games. Don't, don't mess with her. Like, and I, now that I'm a mom, I low key understand it. Like you're not going to sit there and attack my son and think that I'm not going to jump your ass too. Like, no, no, no. We don't play those games. Anyways. Okay. Anyways, on with the story. On with the story. Cause there's more. <laughs> This had 
nothing to do with the story but really quickly i really need to do my eyebrows I, let me know if y'all in the same boat i know stuff is opening up and whatever but i do my own eyebrows so this ain't nobody's fault but me okay it's not corona's fault this is my fault but <laughs> i'm just saying i need to do my eyebrows anyways so after mom bust the glass right? <laughs> okay so mom bust the glass and i'm sitting here like yo this escalated quickly like i know i was saying things to him but i was not doing anything to him so um i didn't hit him or whatever but basically i tried to get his mom out of that situation which she did not want to leave her baby you know i understand that i wouldn't want to leave my baby um but there ray is a or not ray twin twin is a able and willing grown man and i basically just tried to like reason with her like hey no 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 let me get you to a soft or like a a nice steady place and like let let me and ray handle this real quick and so he lived upstairs in an apartment so like you go into the door and then there's like a walk up right so he had to go that I like basically saw them downstairs and by them I mean the brother and uh mom brother and mom uh, they they had to um they had to go because it was about to get rowdy okay <laughs> and um I came back in the house and Ray and George are still going at it and I'm like I've been gone for a minute because to go up and down two flights of stairs on a walk up that's a long time right so like for fight wise time because you know an average uh fist fight lasts about 30 seconds uh to a minute the depending on like anger levels i guess and stuff like that but um so they're still going at it and i'm like tell i like tried to like she'd be like hey like y'all stop because if not we're gonna have to do something a little bit too rowdy and like i guess george wasn't with it and then as soon as i came back and i think uh twin saw his his mom and his brother were gone he got even more angry like and i don't think he even realized since he was in a physical altercation like what all had happened and i forgot to tell you guys ray is the one who told me to get his mom and the brother out so like i didn't just like think of that because we would all been like fucking him up trust me <laughs> but um like he he's the one who was like uh uh get get them out of there well he more so wanted his mama out of there but you know he i was just like well his brother is a minor like you know whatever okay so his brother didn't need to be there either basically so i got brother out too and um I had told them call the police you know whenever um they whenever they were downstairs i said go downstairs call the police so they went out downstairs outside you know um and okay so since i got every body outside okay hold on a second got everybody outside george was still not listening he was still being a dick he was still like acting a plum fool and um so me me and ray we wasn't having it not anymore so dude like i 
I like basically tell Ray like we need we need to go like and Ray was like no fuck that so he like we ended up into the living room instead of back where the bedrooms were so we were like in the living room and then Ray is like trying to leave and dude grabbed he was wearing a t-shirt and he grabbed his shirt and like ripped it and it like pissed Ray off right so he turned and he punched him a few times and then he like you know like fell back he punched him a few times dude fell back right and then after the dude fell back he um like came back and I had already been like up next to Ray and I was like come on like I had his arm I was like come on come on let's go and then um I have on my keychain almost a lot <laughs> um I have pepper spray and so he lunges back after he I guess collects himself and um he he gets back up and he lunges at Ray to try to punch him and I'm in between the two of them I think he's coming at me okay okay and nobody comes at me okay nobody so I took my pepper spray that I already had had in my hand because I was like okay he gets any more rowdy we're trying to leave we're trying to defuse the situation then he's gonna get dealt with by me like I was like oh no you're not gonna touch me like directly into his face and then I was like Ooh, I like it and it like stopped him so I did it again right all in his face and <laughs> I emptied the can on his face and it was it's you know one of those little baby ones it's like maybe one maybe two uses out of it so he would he was fine right he didn't die or nothing but it was enough for me and Ray to go downstairs and wait for the police officers. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'll be right back. I'm finished. Okay. So, basically, uh, a pepper sprayed old dude got him good. Y'all don't even know. I got him good. I was so happy. I have been waiting to use my little pepper spray for forever. Right? <laughs> um. So, I I pepper sprayed him and then we both leave we go downstairs and within like a few not even a whole minute passes by the cops get there and then old dude comes running outside after us crazy as hell bloody eyes burning and his shirt is ripped too so he comes down there like a madman so who do you think the cops are gonna believe? He didn't believe not a damn person. They just treated it like a regular domestic and they were like, okay, well, you know, since you live here and you live here, all three of y'all need to go and don't, don't come back today. <laughs> and he was like, if I have to come back here, one of y'all is going to jail. And he was like, one of y'all needs to leave right now. Like right now, go get your stuff and pack a bag. And Ray was like, I haven't gotten paid yet. I just started working at a job, blah, blah, blah. But he was like, he has money for a hotel. <laughs> and so cop told, tells George, go upstairs and um, like go pack a bag and leave. And he was like, I'm only gonna stay here until he leaves, but don't y'all start no mess because somebody's going to go to jail if I have to come back. And they always say that, okay? <laughs> they, they always say that, and that's true. So they will take you to jail if they have to come back. He leaves and stuff, and he's like, Ray just tells me, like, I'm so happy that you was here. And I was like, I got you, babe. I fucks with you. And more than that, I ain't gonna let nobody touch you. I fuck with you so hard. So like, I'm gonna make sure mom's is okay. I'm gonna make sure little brother is okay. Cause I know good and damn well he would do the same for me. 
so yeah that's like one of like I think maybe two physical altercations that I have like ever been in as an adult it used to happen enough when I, <laughs> I was a, a teenager right but that was because of like boyfriends and stupid stuff like that um so basically this is that was the story this is the look um i'm sorry that the video is a day late and probably a story short guys but um basically my personal life has been a little bit chaotic and i would you know like to apologize yeah <laughs> anyways so today right now it is shout out Sunday I guess um, because it is Saturday right now um, I'm probably not gonna be able to get the video up until tomorrow which is Sunday so it's shout out Sunday <laughs> um, thank you everybody who does subscribe to my channel I really do appreciate it thank you guys so freaking much like I remember when I was like stuck at like 22 like subscribers and I was just like how in the like how do I fix this like what's going on <laughs> um but now it's slowly at an incline slowly but the steady pace wins the race you know what I'm saying haha -ha. <laughs> okay feel free to use it I didn't see him or nothing <laughs> anyways um I have three people who I know subscribe to my channel for shorties and that is Cucina Italiano okay y'all gonna get over here um, Dawn Marie Mitchell and Banana Rama thank you guys so 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 freaking much for subscribing to my channel watching my content commenting you guys love you <laughs> okay and everybody who subscribes to my channel and even the people who aren't subscribed but watch my content anyways thank you for watching it because that means that you at least was a, a little bit entertained <laughs> but um and you know if you guys can't tell i love making people laugh so if i can like do something i love which is makeup and make people laugh then we all win in here okay <laughs> we are all winning so that was my video thank you guys so much for um subscribing please like and share this video with all of your friends okay and i will be back to see you guys next thursday and next saturday bye <laughs> hey skylar They're talking to them people. Oh, okay. He's talking to them people. Y'all, I just now realized my son talks to people on Fortnite how I talk to y'all, but he actually has somebody who's talking back with him. I think he might not be as crazy as me. That's a win. <laughs> in me oh it's my brother hi brother here we go again I can't sing <laughs> okay story time Saturday <laughs> um. it's hot so fucking hot